Hello and welcome to Dryx. In today's video we will be unboxing and demonstrating the brand new One GX gaming laptop. So inside we have the GX gaming laptop which we'll show more detail in a moment. There is a user manual which is in English and Chinese. There is a USB Type-C charge cable and a USB Type-C charger which is also a fast charger will include the right adapter for your country. Let's take a look at the laptop itself. So on the side you've got your mobile phone SIM card slot for the 4G internet. On the back you've got two USB Type-C charging ports, one of these is a Thunderbolt port so you can use that for fast charging and also connecting up other USB devices. You've got a USB 3.0 port and a headphone socket and on the side you've got a micro HDMI output so you can plug that up to a monitor for example. You've got a 7 inch IPS screen which is 1920 by 1200 resolution uh, that's also 10 point touch screen inside is an Intel Core i5 10th generation which runs up to 4 gigahertz uh, there's two configurations available for the RAM and storage so first you have 8 gig and uh, 256 gigs of storage and the second option is 16 gig of uh, DDR3 RAM and uh, 512 gigs of NVMe storage. Uh, as mentioned it's got uh, 4G LTE inside and there's also Wi-Fi 6 and uh, Bluetooth 5 for wireless connectivity and all of this is running on a 12,000 milliamp hour battery. So the first thing I wanted to show was uh, the backlit keyboard which is uh, RGB LEDs. So using the function key and the uh, enter key uh, you can cycle through these. So if you enjoy uh, RGB you'll also love this, on the back all of that lights up. So you may be wondering uh, if it's a gaming laptop, where are the gaming controls? So available uh, separately you can buy these Nintendo Switch style controls which um, plug into the side slot on the laptop, I'll just quickly turn this over and show you. So you've got two um, slots underneath. And these simply slide in. And uh, these are Xbox 360 controllable, so you've got the dual analog sticks, digital D pad, four game buttons, and on the back you've got the two shoulder buttons. The laptop itself comes with a full version of uh, Windows 10 Home which is activated uh, so you can get all the latest updates when and where they're available. What we'll do next is show you some games up and running uh, followed by some uh, emulators. We will start off the games demos with a quick look at the um, Google Stadia which is a uh, games streaming service. Uh, it works very well with the GX and um, because of the controllers are Xbox 360 compatible um, the games work pretty much straight away. Uh, the controller links automatically. As well as working perfectly fine with the Wi-Fi you can also use the 4G internet uh, for game streaming but obviously it will require quite a bit of uh, data usage. Horizon Chase Turbo is a uh, very enjoyable racing game with a um, 80s 90s retro theme. 
Uh, it looks amazing and runs great on the 1GX. The wireless controls are automatically configured to work with it. Uh, you also have the multiplayer support, so if you have the 4G LTE, uh, you can raise your friends anywhere. Tamarin is a new Windows 10 game featuring a cute monkey in a third person action adventure. It runs very well on the 1GX and looks amazing on the 7 inch uh, screen. Also, funnily enough, it um, doesn't support keyboard mouse controls, so it's perfect to try with the 1GX controllers. With the new season uh, finally underway, there's no better time to play a match or two of uh, FIFA. Uh, much like the GPD Win Max, the 1GX is perfect for FIFA on the go, and uh, there's no problems at all with this game. Cuphead is great fun to play on um, any system and it runs perfectly and plays well with the GX controllers. There's no issues at all. Uh, just don't throw the laptop at the wall when you die for the 100th time as it's a very hard game. I'm a big fan of Warframe and uh, this free to play third person space ninja action game looks great on the GX. Uh, you will need to tweak some of the settings just a bit um, in order to get the best performance out of the game. Um, it's mainly just like the fancy effects so uh, it doesn't affect um, the gameplay that much. And we finish up the game's demos with something a little bit more relaxing. Uh, Tin and Kuna is a uh, platform puzzle game. It works great with the GX controllers, which is important as uh, the character needs quite precise movement to solve the puzzles. Like the Winmax, uh, the 1GX is great for emulators. Um, as it's got the i5 processor, you can easily run all of the 8-bit and 16-bit systems with no issues at all. Uh, a good tip is to install Launchbox for your games. Uh, this is a front-end and uh, link that to the RetroArch software, which will emulate a massive number of um, game systems with very little setting up. Um, all these tests are done with no tweaks to the settings such as um, frame skipping or um, upscaling or graphics filters. We start off the emulators demo with Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation. As expected, uh, PlayStation 1 emulation is spot on and all the games are tried run perfect. Uh, you can also tweak the graphics settings to upscale and add filters and so on and they run perfectly fine. As with the PlayStation, uh, Dreamcast emulation is very well supported and played all the games are tried just fine with no issues at all. Uh, again, you can tweak the settings to improve the quality beyond the original graphics quality. Overall, the GameCube emulation is great. Uh, I did notice every now and again in busy scenes on some games that there are minor drops in frames. Uh, you can just tweak the settings to easily resolve this, but overall the games run great. PlayStation 2 is overall good with some tweaks to the settings. However, some games do not run very well, which is a bit of a letdown. Um, for example, Gran Turismo 3 is like driving through mud. Uh, with some tweaks, you can get many games running um, to like a playable level, so don't let a few just put you off. The 
The PlayStation Portable Emulation also runs great on the 1GX. Uh, as you all know, I like to use God of War to judge the performance, uh, as it runs like a dog on lower powered systems. As you can see, it runs great with no slowdown. However, uh, in this version of the emulator, you may notice there's a weird ghost shadow. Um, I did try it before updating the emulator and it was fine, so um, just ignore the ghost. The emulation is near spot on and with the detachable controllers I guess you could run them like nunchucks although they wouldn't have the motion sensing. Uh, Wii emulation works very well across all the games I tried, uh, maybe with just one or two occasional hiccups in frames but nothing that spoils um, playing the game. Uh, switch emulation is still in the early stages, so I've added this more of a curiosity. Um, over time when Switch emulators have improved capability, I would imagine, much like the Winmax, that uh, quite a few games will be playable. And Wii emulation is very good. Uh, the emulator will need to generate the shader caches when you're first playing a game or you can download pre-built ones. Um, so for the first time you play you will see minor hiccups in performance but once these caches have been built the emulation is very smooth and even more playable. I tried a variety of games and they all worked great. The 1GX is a very capable laptop built for gaming and it does this very well thanks to the i5 10th gen processor and UHD graphics. Um, I like the idea of having um, removable controllers as you can use it for day to day tasks such as browsing or work and then plug in the controllers for the commute home for example. Uh, not having the gamepad built in means you can fit a bit more on the laptop and it does feel more comfortable than say the GPD Winmax. The RGB lighting is a nice touch and it looks great in the dark. Uh, as a note we will be doing a comparison video with the 1GX and the Winmax soon so keep an eye out for that. That wraps up this video of the 1GX gaming laptop. We hope you have enjoyed it. You can find out more information and buy yours today via the product link or description. And finally, don't forget to like and subscribe and we hope to see you in the next video.